What's gripping guys? My name is Gripping Jam and welcome to Metro 2033 Redux and pretty much Metro Redux because we also have Metro Last Light Redux but that won't be seen until we beat Metro 23 Redux and the reason I want to play this so badly or not even that but the reason I'm putting this on the channel is because I've never played Metro 2033 the original on the last gen consoles which you know pretty much is the Xbox not that last gen but it just feels calling it last it feels weird calling it last gen but nevertheless so yeah, it was, came out a while ago actually. This one came out a while ago. And I mean like a couple or some more, some years ago. Not just a couple of years ago. This came out a couple of years ago. Maybe just a few years ago. I'm not sure. Maybe two, one year ago. I'm not really certain on that one. But I'm pretty sure I'm really certain that this one was out way longer ago. And yeah, I never had the opportunity. Or actually, I never knew about Metro 2033 until... Metro Last Light was announced, and I found out that there was a that this was a sequel to this game, and a cousin of mine was like, "This is a really good game, and you should give it a try." And I was like, "I don't know, maybe one day," but I never was, but I never could give it a try. So I was like, "Oh well, Last Light came out, and I never got the chance to play 2033, so I'm not even gonna try Last Light because I never played 2033." And then Redux was announced, and I was like, that's my moment. That's my chance to play, and not only that, but I could even record it, so why the hell not? So, with all that being said, let's jump into Metro 2033. There's also something else that I want to say, but I'm not sure if this is a cutscene or what. And plus, this is supposed to look way much better than the original than the original release, so I might as well play like this. Metro Redux is inspired in this internationally best selling by a book is it's by a book it's inspired by some book i forgot what it's called no i'm gonna stick with english i don't know why i even try to change it can i get subtitles subtitles please how do i set that up damn can i get subtitles Subtitles, that's all I want. Metro 2033. Press for options. This game automatically saves game progress. Please do not turn off your PlayStation 4 system when you see the icon or your current progress will be lost. So as you guys can see, I'm playing on the PlayStation 4. That's mostly where I'm going to be playing most of my games anytime, anytime soon. Why? Because I don't have a good PC. But PlayStation definitely does a job either way. So I'm happy with it. There's no, like, I'm not sad about it either way. So let's see. Ooh, sound, wireless controller speaker. No, thank you. Uh, master volume, music volume. Let's uh, lower that one a bit. Let's see. Game options. Can I get subtitles? There's no sub. Oh, okay. Ooh. Ooh. Hit markers. What is that? I think I know what this is, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that is. I'm going to leave that on. If I don't like it, then I'll turn it back off, but oh well. So let's see, sensitivity, preset 1, aim sensitivity, aim assist. Yeah, let's give a little bit of that here. Yeah. It's been a while since I've played an, like a shooter, like to an extent where I need sensitivity to be raised all the way. Change button L1, L1, L2, R1, R2. 
Now, what does that mean? Change buttons. I want to aim with L2 and I want to shoot with R2. Is that what you're telling me to do? Or I don't know. Oh man, hopefully that's not the problem. Hopefully that's not a thing. But here are the chapters. Here's the new game and here's continue. So, like I was saying, there is something that I want to mention before we even start once again. And that is that because of all the games that I'm doing on the channel, one of them has to be replaced, or not even replaced, but put on hold, put on break, because I don't because I don't have enough space on my schedule because I do keep up with the schedule when I upload. It's not just random. But yeah, I, because of that, I want to or I have to put a game on break. And that that that's unfortunately American McGee's Alice. Yes, unfortunately, it's going to be American McGee's Alice. And not only that, but because of this game, I had to switch a couple of things around. So if you guys notice, Kingdom Hearts is on. Kingdom Hearts has been changed to the Monday and Wednesday schedule and this is on the Tuesday and Thursday schedule if you guys have noticed that schedule or uploading uh, pattern so that is pretty much all the changes that have gone with this I don't know if there's another change well there's the infamous first light change but that stayed the same it stayed on Tuesday because infamous was taken out for that but other than that I think that's pretty much it and uh, yeah so Let's just jump right in. Everything else should be the same. So let's see. Choose your playstyle. Survival, Spartan. Survival with ammo and filters in short supply, deadlier combat, and more challenging stealth. Survival style offers players the original survivor horror oriented experience of Metro 2033 with an emphasis on resource man management and tense combat. Spartan. Enjoy the more forgiving combat and stealth experience of Metro Last Light when Spartan style is selected. Perfect. For players who like faster pace, more action oriented gameplay, ammo filters, and other resources are also more plentiful. What? I'm sorry, I don't I don't know what this is. So survival or Spartan. So I kinda wanted a normal or easy type of thing going on. So let's see, survival. So survival is more of a I'm going to I'm going to take it as a more of a I need to collect my stuff. I need to make sure I have these bullets and I can't go about wasting them all and then Spartan is like more forgiving, I guess. Combat and stealth experience. More forgiving combat and stealth experience. I think I might go with this one. I think I might go with this one. I'm not that great at stealth and combat. I'm good at, but I end up getting killed a lot either way and I like I like that faster paced movement. I like that I like that movement. I like that fast like go and go and go and go. So it's good for some long RPGs, but for shooters, when I'm having, when I'm like, when I have a gun, I want to be shooting. I want to be moving fast. I'm going to have to go with Spartan guys. I'm going to, yeah, I don't know. Maybe on my own time, I'll play survival. Okay. Definitely. I'll be playing survival on my own time just to see how that goes. But I don't know. This one says original horror orientated. I like horror though. Survival style offers players the original survival horror. So the only thing that I feel like. I feel like this will still have horror elements to it, but I feel like this is just more like you have to keep thinking about how much things you have. And if you can't waste those bullets, you better run or something like that. So that's the only thing that I see will be horror like. But other than that, I think we'll be fine with the horror jump scares if there's any. Because if there is, hopefully there is because, oh boy, am I going to scream. And either way, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with Spartan. So let's see. Normal, Hardcore Ranger and Ranger Hardcore. Normal. Recommended for regular FPS players like myself, you will need to closely watch your ammo and filler filter supplies and approach every combat scenario with extreme caution. Hardcore. Recommended for experienced FPS players. I don't know. Am I experienced? I am pretty experienced. I've played FPSs for a good while. So every encounter presents a serious challenge to your skill and tactics. Ammo and resources must be jealously guarded. Success cannot be guaranteed. Ranger. Ranger Hardcore and Ranger Normal, the HUD and UI are limited and hints are disabled for increased immersion. Your enemies do more damage, but so do you. Combat is, is tense, tactical, and brutal. Resources are even more, are even scare. Scar yeah, yeah, every bullet counts. And this one. In Ranger Hardcore, the HUD UI, all hints are completely disabled for most immersed Metro experience ever. And dif difficulty level is increased in every department. This is the ultimate Metro challenge. We're going to go with normal. Although I kind of want to say I, you know, not kind of want to say I am an experienced FPS player, but I'm just going to go with regular. Why the hell not? I'm going to brighten this up a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to go here. 
And uh, yeah, I've been playing a lot of FPSs. Okay. Look at this spider web. Yeah, I don't know what was going on with that spider web. That thing was massive. Holy crap, look at those spiders. There's a rat. That's what it is. Ah. Oh my god, no. Do I get stuck on these? Screw you guys. I hate spider. I hate spiders. This is the worst. Look at this rat. This thing is massive. I want to get him. Oh my god, I got him. I got him. I don't know if you just saw, but I killed a rat. So yeah, I've been playing a lot of FPSs. I know, you know, your regular run-of-the-mill FPS, Call of Duty, of course. Everyone's played Call of Duty. Yes, I play that, sure. I play a lot of multiplayer of that. Uh, I don't know which one I'd consider my favorite, but I just opened the door, didn't I? Uh, No. How do I open the door? Ah, right. What? Oh, okay. So, yeah, I've played that. I've played Halo, all your regular run-of-the-mill FPSs, but I've also played other... But I've also played, like, other different types of, uh, hold. Also, different type of FPSs, like Gears is another one that's, you know, run-of-the-mill. Everyone else has played it, but... Let's see. Borderlands? I consider that a first-person shooter. Yeah. Um... Fallout? <laughs> Fallout 3? <laughs> well, yeah. You know, I laugh now, but yeah, Fallout 3 is kind of an FPS. It's more of an RPG, if anything. But yeah, it's definitely an RPS in that regard. So, let's see. Uh, is there, I can't open these. Buddy? Oh, he's over there. He left me. What do I have to do here? Anything good? Whoa. Anything good here? I'm just pressing buttons, actually. Oh, look at this. Okay, okay. So, triangle is flashlight. Always binoculars, I think. Okay. This is something. Gas mask. Got it. Flashlight. I don't know what these are. But there's something. Whoa, what did I just do? Uh-oh. Uh, time. Oh, that's what I did? Okay, I think I got the time. So it's 13.57. Okay. Not bad. I don't know what the time is going to be needed for, but sure, why the hell not? Sure, why not? How do I turn on the flashlight again? Ooh, what's this? Okay. I think they'll explain this later on. I can't sprint. Why? Oh, now I can sprint. Yeah, now I can sprint. All right. Are we okay? I don't know. Where'd he go? Oh. So, yeah, let's see. What else is considered of... Oh. No, that's not a first-person shooter, though. Homefront, Homefront's one. Homefront I definitely consider as a first-person shooter. 
Load your weapon, why? Oh crap, what is that? 